Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So firstly guys, I would like to greet everyone a happy new year. So guys, of course, I am sending all the good love, the positive energy and wishing you of course the best of health always and praying that all your dreams, your new year's resolution and goals to come true and that you achieve everything this coming 2022. So this year guys, actually this marks my very first year anniversary here in youtube and again guys i would be forever thankful and grateful to each and every one of you for joining me in my youtube journey that is why one of my new year's resolution is always to provide you the best and most exciting content that is why for the very first episode of 2022 i have ensure that we are going to have the very first episode because um today's episode i'm going to share to you guys my entire luxury bag collection yes so this will go this is going to be exciting so please stay tuned Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetary and Fashionista. I vlog about the latest news about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls and unboxings. I also do bad reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you could easily subscribe and I could welcome you to our loving fam. Also guys, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you could get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so guys, I'm super excited to be doing this episode and to be honest, um, I'm also dreading to be filming this because it's a little bit of hard work because I have to pull out everything. Um, this is the very first time that I will be sharing and filming my entire luxury bag collection. Um, what we are going to do here, guys, is we are going to do it per brand. And of course, so that you are um, going to stay with me until the end of the episode, all the best bags, um, Louis Vuitton and Chanel, how I'll be putting them at the very last part of this video. So again, guys, this is in no way um, bragging. Um, my bag collection, I did not collect these bags in one year. So I have been collecting them, I think, for almost a decade now. And I'm very, very excited to be doing this at least once a year. So let's dive right in. Alright, so for bag number one, it's my baby Givenchy Antigona. The size is mini. So the reason why I wanted to discuss this very beautiful bag first is because this is where my luxury bag started. That I purchased brand new at um, Givenchy store here in the Philippines. And to be honest guys, um, she is like at least 7, 8, 9 years old and still she is in very good condition. So her material is box calf leather and I have used her to that. Like she has come with me all over so during my travels pre-pandemic, I would be bringing her with me to Hong Kong, to China, to Taiwan, everywhere because um, I feel... Um, She's very understated. She doesn't scream out loud that she is Jivan. She only, you know, um, you would only know that this is a Jivan. She back is with this logo over here. But if, for example, and of course, definitely, if you know you are familiar, then definitely you would know. But if, for example, you're not familiar, then definitely she is an understated bag. So I love this size. Um, yes, they are calling this the uh, the size is mini, but definitely I could fit a lot. It could fit my phone, it could fit my power pack, and it could fit a lot more. That is why I super super love uh, my Givenchy Antigona. I always baby my luxury bags, and as you could see here, guys, she is still in excellent condition, right? So again, guys, if you want to see the review of this one, I'm going to link it on the description box. So again, this is bag number one. Alright, so for bag number two, let me get her out. Jenin! So it is uh, my MCM Rockstar Vanity um, bag. So again, I've made a review. I'm going to link it on the description box. So this one, I purchased this at Beijing, China when we have visited a couple of years ago at an MCM store. I super love this one. Um, the very reason I was so obsessed with this bag is when I've seen um, during that time, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2015 or 16, I've seen on Instagram that Rihanna was carrying this one and I went crazy. So I was, because we don't have any MCMs back then here in the Philippines. So luckily when we traveled abroad, I was able to spot this one and definitely um, I said yes instantly. And what, actually guys, when I have reviewed this bag, that was the only time that I've, um, 
known that actually this emblem here that you would see, this is actually also dipped in 24K or 24 karat gold hardware just like with Chanel. Um, so as you can see here, the size of this one, it looks actually for me, this is um, a huge size bag because it could fit a lot. And I've been hearing reviews here that they're having difficulty in crossing or opening the bag. For me, I don't have that issues. So of course, it comes with the leather strap, the fully um, detachable leather strap. And the lining is microfiber, if I'm not mistaken. So I super love this bag. So just like my Givenchy Antigona, this one, the reason why I super love this is because... Um, it's super structured. I believe this is not genuine leather. This is a uh, coated canvas. And as you can see, guys, it's been with me for a while now, but it's still in excellent condition. There are no huge, like, major scratches or anything like that. And this has traveled with me as well. Same with Antigona. And I love to carry this one all over because, again, um, since this is a coated canvas, it's like a carefree bag. And I super love my... MCM Vanity Rocks are back. Alright, so for bag number three, let me get her out. Chanan, so it is my Kenzo Utility Belt Bag. So this is actually um, part of my uh, vlog sale. I posted that a couple of weeks back. So I purchased this one when we have traveled in Taiwan. And actually, the reason why I'm putting this up on sale is because unfortunately, when I purchased this one a couple of years back, I've only used this once. So as you could see here, uh, it's not that I don't love her. It's just, you know, of course, as much as possible, if I would be keeping back to my collection, it would be used most of the time. So she is still a beauty. So like, for example, here, so you, it, it comes with this white belt here. And then if you're going to attach, so all of these SLGs here, it comes with this one at the back where and you can loop um, the white belt and you can carry it like this. As you can see, it's still a very beautiful bag with it, it's very pop art. So um, you could store your credit cards, your bills, your AirPods here. So again, guys, this is still on sale. Um, I'm selling this very, very low. So if you want to get this one, just kindly slide me a DM. Alright, so for bag number four, it is my vintage Celine vanity bag. So again, also just like with Kenzo, this is part of the vlog sale. So I've used this um, from the time that I purchased this one. I've only used this once um, with the Jumbatista X H and M VIP shopping party. So she is made of um, the vintage uh, canvas of Celine. I forgot. I think this is the. Uh, pattern here is called the Triumph, so it comes with the Celine logo. So it is actually a good size. I would say this is a medium to large. You could put a lot here, even a huge water bottle. You could put here your phones, um, your power bank, and everything. So it comes with a leather handle here. This is the back. And this is the front. So the front part it has here, and then it has a zipper. There. And for bag number five, we have so speaking of the Jumbatista collaboration, this is my H&M X Jumbatista Valley um, acrylic bag. So this is also part um, of the vlog sale. And the good news is this someone has just purchased this one. So this is going to leave my collection after we have filmed this vlog here. So as you could see here, one moment. So as you could see, guys, this is still brand new. I from the time that I purchased this one, I never really had the chance to use this one. So as you could see, it's so cute, it's so girly. Definitely, it could still fit my iPhone. So here is the logo of Jumbatista Valley. So I'm sure the next owner of this one will enjoy this much. It comes with two straps. Here we have the uh, crossbody strap. Then it also comes with the. Uh, top handle strap over here, the one inside. Alright, so for bag number six, it is my YSL Bonogram clutch bag. So again, I've done a review on this one and also part of my vlog sale. So this one, I love the leather of my YSL clutch bag. It's very smooth. If I'm not mistaken, this is nap Napa or lambskin because it's very smooth. Every time I touch this one, I feel like I want to take a bite. So this has been with me in my collection for three, four, five years now and still she's in excellent condition. I super love guys. I'm such a fan of the 
super bright yellow gold hardware here. As you can see, how luxurious the YSL shiny um, hardware. Also, the zipper. And here, it is a wristlet, guys. So, you could carry it like this or you could carry it as a clutch. But um, with the styling that I did, um, I've shown a couple of ways where in you, how you could attach a shoulder strap so you could wear this one as a crossbody. So, she has a good size clutch or bag. Um, it would fit your phone plus a, um, a lot more of your essentials that you may need. So she's still in excellent condition. I love the leather. But then again, guys, like what I mentioned, she is up for sale. So this is still available. If you want this clutch bag to be part of your collection, please send me a DM. Alright, so for the next bags would be... Um, would be from the brand Moschino. So as you know guys, I super love my Moschino and it's one of my go-to bags when I was just starting my bag collection. So the next bag is this one. So chinin. <laughs> Sorry for that one. So this is my very first Moschino bag and I super super love this bag. So actually this is very small. Um, I got this one. Sorry guys. So the strap are just you know a little bit tight. So I purchased this one at um, Hong Kong. I'm super lucky to have her because this is a runway piece. So this is an actual shoe that uh, Moschino was clever enough to transform into a bag. So as you can see here in front, so again guys, I've made a review of this one. So they put a zipper here in. You could put stuff inside. The only tricky part is because I, uh, I included this one on my micro bag collection because you could barely fit anything inside. So definitely, since this is just a what? A size 37. Um, shoes so as you can see here so it comes with this one so it's a size 37 made in italy so you can barely fit anything so maybe what you could fit fit inside would be credit cards and maybe a lipstick or a lip gloss so this one i super love that it comes with the chain link strap as you can see guys the chain links are so beautiful it's just like chanel and maybe a little bit of trivia um the reason why i think some of the aesthetic of moschino is like a little bit someone similar to chanel is because jeremy scott their artistic director worked under carl lagerfeld um, at chanel before he worked at moschino so this is my shoe bag all right so the next bag from moschino would be my Moschino trash can bag. Yay! So this one I purchased from Shanghai, China. So that's what I love about my bags, guys. So whenever we are going to travel, I would get something, you know, um, from that travel. So at least I would be reminded of the fun times that we, when we have visited those um, lovely, lovely countries. So this is an actual trash can bag, guys. I'm not kidding. Um, this is also a runway piece. So this is the front, guys. So the material, I'm not sure. So it's wrapped. The, this one, the outside part is leather. And this is made of plastic. So as you can see here on top. So I think I also did a vlog review of this one that it comes with the this is a non-detachable chain link um strap sorry guys it's not focusing chain link strap there and then this is the inside so the authenticity card is inside so this is a good size to be honest um because it could actually fit my phone the only downside of this one since it doesn't have any lock mechanism every time i'm carrying so definitely i was wishing that it has some kind of lock mechanism so that i could carry it as a top handle but i cannot so i could only carry it like this because if you are going to carry as a top handle then definitely it would open and it would spill um what the stuff inside your bag but definitely this is a collector's piece that's why i did not include my moschino bags in my collection yes moschino is not very famous to most of the luxury bag collection or collector here in youtube but i feel there's such a collector piece and they would be fabulous like for example if i would have a good walk-in closet then definitely they would be up for display because they're so quirky they're so fun and definitely would be the talk of the town if there was going to be a party last bag from moschino would be chana so this is my moschino condom bag from the collaboration of moschino with h&m so i included her i included her here because um, of course, it's still by Moschino and honestly guys, um, I will be honest, the construction of their Moschino bags, even though it's just a collaboration with H&M, um, it's still in very, actually I would still rate the um, 
construction very very good so this is an actual shape of a condom bag so this is the front the back so the front says moschino then the back says ready to wear and this one i think this is rubber or latex over here then you would see there is like um what do you call this guys like there's a silhouette of a condom inside i'm not really sure what's inside but um if you are going to open so unfortunately it could not fit my huge iPhone over here but definitely it could fit your credit card, um, your lip gloss, your oil control film. It's still, uh, the straps are not detachable but this is going to be a good evening clutch or evening bag and definitely just like what I mentioned earlier if you're going to carry this one definitely you are going to be the talk of the evening. For my next bag would be from one of my very favorite brand Fendi. So I have three bags from Fendi. So let me get the very first one. Chanan. So this is my uh, Fen vintage Fendi tote bag. So I haven't done a review on this one, but hopefully soon I will be doing a review. So as you can see, guys, she is very huge. And this is the only, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only tote bag in my collection. So as you can see, guys, um, uh, because I think the, the reason why this is the only um, tote bag in my collection because I'm not really a tote kind of person or I don't really carry huge bags. So from the time that I purchased this one, pre-love, I think I have used her to be honest once. But of course, I'm not letting her go because I feel that post-pandemic, I will be able to use her again during our travels. So as you can see, um, this is her. I love the, um, the zipper pull over here. So you are going to see um, the logo of Fendi. And um, I love the leather trims that it comes with. It mimics, it's like just like Louis Vuitton's epi leather as you are going to see. Hardware is gold. And then actually, so it shows here, I'm just, again, you, there are snap buttons over here that shows Fendi and there is another snap over here so I think oh wow this is the first time that I'm doing this so you could snap it here again guys I'm just discovering this right now so you could snap the other one and it would give you a different shape what do you think and then you could expand it by unsnapping the buttons over here and then so the zipper so again the zipper pull comes with the Fendi logo. She's a little bit shy, but here she is. There. So this would actually fit so, so much. So I think that is one of the reasons why I'm not lusting for any tote bags, like for example, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, or any other tote bags for that matter, is because I already have this. And um, since I'm, I'm not really using this as much, that's why I'm not really lusting for any tote bag. Right. Right. The second Fendi bag that I would like to discuss is... Janet! So you may have seen this bag a couple of times from my previous um, styling tips that I've given for how to convert your bag. So this is a vintage Fendi pochette. So the attachment is, it doesn't come with, so the original strap that it came with is this one. Let me just open for you. So this is what's inside. I just had a t-shirt inside as a stuffing. So I have this um, leather uh, strap over here. Unfortunately, I don't use this anymore because the uh, it's already falling apart as you can see here. That's why I'm so lucky that I was able to get this Fendi strap you. This one. This, I super love this jacquard strap guys. So it shows here as you can see. So it's Italy and then it has the logo of Fendi over here. And it's perfect because this is the material of this one is the canvas, the Zuka canvas of Fendi. It's vintage. I love it. Then I have attached here a chunky chain strap. So it's made of metal. So I'm going to put some photos here on how I carry this one. But I super love this bag. Um, yes, she is vintage. And yes, I purchased this one pre-love. But this is one of my favorite bags in my collection. It's because um, you could carry so many things inside. I could put my phone and a lot of stuff inside. Plus, since this is made of canvas, coated canvas, or just canvas, sorry, uh, 
I don't baby this bag as much, so I'm so excited to be carrying her with me, maybe during my travel in the future. So again, here is the inside. There is the logo of Fendi. There, so this is bag number two for Fendi. Alright, so bag number three for Fendi would be my very cute Tada! My very cute Fendi micro baguette. So as you can see, I have I've done a review of this one and also included her on my micro bag collection. So this is the original um, Fendi micro baguette that Karl Lagerfeld has designed for Fendi when he was still alive. So because the micro bags that are coming out i believe they're a little bit smaller compared to this one and with this bag um when i purchased this couple of years back my phone was still iphone 5s it and would fit inside so so it has a magnetic lock so she is so pretty again the material is if i'm not mistaken is napa or lamp skin because it's very smooth just like my ysl bag here every time i would be carrying this one out um, i would like to take a bite so the um closure is magnetic and here is the inside and what i love about this one since it's not just a micro bag it's because this part over here you can detach this one and you could carry it as a charm so like for example here you can detach on the strap and then you can carry it so you'll have two bags in one and just to show you a little bit of comparison how small this bag is so this is my Fendi pochette so the size of this one I would say small to medium and this is the Fendi micro baguette like baby so again you can attach it here on one of the d-ring so like for example like this and then there so you could care so let, let me just show you real quickly on how to attach it. there so once attached it would look like this so you would have a bag charm for your bag so what do you think this is my Fendi micro baguette right, so the next bags would be from another favorite brand of mine Prada so unfortunately I only have two because I've let go a couple of Prada bags from my vlog sale so the very first one is this my very limited edition and wear Prada promenade bag as you can see she is so beautiful so the material of this one sorry guys so the material of this one is Safiano leather so um the one that I have let go the color is navy blue I'm just going to insert some photos here but this one I just couldn't um, you know put on the vlog sale because I feel this color and size is very very rare I haven't seen any color of this on this style most of that I'm seeing is you know the blues the reds the pinks and the metallic silver is very very rare so it comes with the clochette and it comes with the fully detachable and adjustable shoulder strap so here is the logo um, this has been with me on my collection for a couple of years now. Um, as you know, uh, the Safiano leather is one of the very um, hard-wearing material of Prada compared it's like the caviar leather of Chanel. Um, the one flaw of this bag, because again, this is a micro bag, it will not fit my iPhone. So whenever I'm carrying this bag, the way that I would be carrying the phone inside is I would just be opening up the zipper and the iPhone would be standing. But still, you could carry it and you could carry it like a top handle, you could carry it as a crossbody bag. I super, super love this bag, guys. Honestly, if for example, you are going to ask me, um, from the two Prada bags that I have, which one I'm going to leave on my collection. I think I'm going to choose this one because she is very rare and definitely she will stay on my collection. Alright, so for bag number two from Prada is my... Tada! My Prada Electra bag. So I have discussed her with my previous vlog. So this is the bag that I'm so happy again because she is the main reason why I have re started my youtube account here so she is a runway piece again her name is the electra bag 
Um, so you are going to see here. So the material is a combination of smooth leather and Sapiano leather. Um, I love the style of this one. I think this is the only bag in my collection that has the Kelly style of bag. So it comes with detachable shoulder strap. So as you are going to see the top handle, I super love the top handle. I think the main reason why I purchased this one because you know, it's so my style and to be honest, I was looking at two bags um, during that time. It's this and then I'm going to insert a photo here. Then I was asking the SAs or CAs at Prada which one would fit my style best and they said this one because it's so trendy and it's so fashion forward just like my style. Um, so of course, I'm not really sure what they call this um, closure over here but um, the way you're going to open is you're going to pull this down then of course here you're going to open so on the side you're going to see it's accordion style and what I love about this one is expandable like this it comes with two separate compartments and on the back part here it has a zipper compartment it comes of course with the fully detachable strap so again although I haven't made a review on this one but please wait because I'm going to do a more in-depth review of this one a one-year review because this bag with me is now one year in my collection so i super super love this one so again like what i mentioned um with the uh, prada promenade bag in this one um i'm choosing this one but then again if you're going to ask me if i'm going to let go then definitely i would really think hard before i would be letting this Prada go so uh one of the also reason why I super love this bag is because I feel you could carry it uh, multiple ways so like for example you don't want the pink part here to be showing just flip her over then ta -da! so this is the back part as you're going to see it comes also with the logo of Prada so you could carry it like this so it's, it would be a little bit more classic for if you don't want your bag to be um, looking with the very highlighter pink in front. So this is the Prada Electra bag. Alright, so are you still with me guys? So we are now almost um, till the end because we are now going to discuss one of again my favorite, favorite, favorite brand Louis Vuitton. So I have um, four bags with Louis Vuitton if we are going to count them individually. So the very first one is my um, Louis Vuitton Vintage Papillon Bag in Black Epi Leather. So, I mentioned earlier that the Givenchy bag is the very first bag that I purchased from Givenchy um, store here in the Philippines. So, this Louis Vuitton bag is the very first luxury bag that I purchased. But I purchased this one pre-love from my best friend. So, this is the front um, here and then side and then the back. So, I think the reason why I purchased this from her um, maybe 8, 9, 10, or 12 years ago is because I was during that time, I wasn't a fan of the monogram canvas because I felt everyone has the monogram canvas and I'm more in love with the subtle subtlety of the epi leather of this bag. And then, of course, the second bag, um, actually, it came with this purchase is the BB papillon bag so as you can see here let me just focus this for you so this is part of my micro bag collection so you could carry this um small bag on its own or you could carry just like my Fendi over here you could carry this one um as a bag charm for this one so i had a very good deal with this bag because i purchased this one so low 12 years ago and I'm looking at the pre-love market. I think the price that I purchased it um, actually appreciated. And it's already times two from what I purchased um, uh, way, way back long time ago. So I'm just checking on the hardware. They're a little bit um, something with the hardware. But the shape and the quality of the leather, it's still very good. Super, super love this two bags from Louis Vuitton. Yay! The next bag from Louis Vuitton would be one of my favorite bags is my Petite Sac Plat. So I'm so sure that you have seen her so much and so many times here in my um, previous vlogs here. But then again, she is one of my favorite bags. And I'm sure you know the story that um, when I purchased this one, I was hit with the price increase. But since I couldn't sleep, 
you know, without having this bag. I bit the bullet and I still purchased the Petite Sac Flat. So she's considered a micro bag or SLG. But what I love about her, so number one, she is made in Paris. And number two, um, it could definitely fit my huge iPhone. So it, she also comes with a fully detachable um, Bachetta shoulder strap. And the Bachetta that it comes with, it's not like the un, like the super wide, the stark white Bachetta. This one is already honey colored. That's why I'm not really scared of carrying her anymore and that it would leave um, watermarks. So I still love her. Um, she is very structured. She's made of one continuous canvas as you could see here in front and then at the back would be the inverted LVs. So like what I mentioned with my previous vlog, this is definitely a forever piece in my collection. And again, I would like to mention that like for example, I would be invited to a Louis Vuitton fashion show. This is the bag that I would be carrying because she is chic, she is very fashion forward. And I feel that she would transcend to a trendy kind of um, style of Louis Vuitton to something iconic. Um, I feel in the future she would, you know, be an icon just like the um, Nano Speedy. So that's why um, I'm super lucky to have her because I think this is no longer, this material is no longer available if you're going to purchase at Louis Vuitton store. What they are coming out right now are more of the made of leather and I think the bigger ones, the stack flat. And to be honest guys, if I'm going to, I'm going to put a photo here and com um, compare to this one, definitely I would be choosing this one because honestly, the larger versions, I'm not a huge fan. I don't like the stark white bachata that it comes with and I feel the size and the look of it is a little bit awkward compared to the petite sack flat which is super cute, super trendy and super fashion forward that's why i super super love my petite sac flat all right the last bag in my louis vuitton collection would be Jenna. so i'm sure some would say that this is not a bag but for me i consider her as a bag because um of course i have already converted her into a shoulder in a crossbody bag so i super love my toiletry pouch 26 so again the size is 26 centimeters over here and this is one of the best i would say one of the best fomo purchase that i did um because when i have started like um because i've just started my louis vuitton journey year last year 2021 that's why i just only have few and when i have already seen you know a couple of vlogs of YouTubers here, how they're transforming the toiletry pouch. I became instantly a fan and I already added this to my um, wish list. Unfortunately, of course, this is one of the, I would say, or can be considered as a unicorn bag because this is one of the hard to get bags at Louis Vuitton. And I got her, I think, after my birthday last July. And my SA just texted me and she said she got one available right now and she could hold it for me one day. But I told her, don't hold it, just send me the payment link and I would pay it immediately. And Shanan, I already have her in my collection. Super, super love this one. Um, because the reason why I love my toiletry pouch, number one, the price is not super high. Number two, it's made of... Um, you know a very good canvas material over here and number three the bachetta that it comes with although super stark it's just very small just the pull tab and of course number four the wipeable interior and number five um you could transform this one into a bag that you could use so you could carry it as a clutch you could carry it as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag so since this is you know made of canvas um plus again the price is not so high i'm not really scared of carrying this one wherever i'm going and i'm super excited to be carrying this one in my international travels in the future right, so for the very last brand on my luxury bag collection this is again guys the ultimate my most current favorite brand of the moment chanel so let's start with chanel number two yay so again guys i have done an unboxing vlog for this one which i super love 
in um like what I mentioned, this is Chanel number two, so this is my second Chanel bag in what I call the unexpected Chanel purchase because I never expected that I would be getting this one three weeks after I purchased my Chanel number no. one. So I super love Chanel number no. two. So she is um if I'm not mistaken a series twelve I think series 12 so she is like 11 12 years old so you will see here that her material is made of um, perforated genuine leather so everything is leather so the flap you would see here it's metallic silver leather and then the lining it's made of um, fabric lining I love the magnetic it's not super strong and as you are going to see here guys the chain is very different from the normal chains of um, Chanel. Then you are going to see here the engraved CC logo of Chanel. And this is the bottom part. Wherein you could use this one as a shoulder bag, top handle bag, and you could carry it as a clutch. And as I have discovered recently, you could insert here because you could insert your fingers underneath the bag and you could carry it like this so it would be more secured so again guys this is going to be a forever bag in my collection and again i consider myself as in very lucky because i did not purchase this one with cash i have exchanged um, one of my Balenciaga bags for this one. That's why you're not seeing the Balenciaga in my collection anymore. I traded that Balenciaga Sharp Excess bag for this. Very beautiful, very trendy, very me, very fashion forward. Um, Chanel Rodeo Drive flat bag. I still yet have to use her, but definitely I'm so excited um, to use her because she is very different from Chanel number no. one. I super, super love my Chanel number no. two. I love her, guys. I love her to death. All right, so for the very last bag, definitely I've saved the best for last. It's still from Chanel, would be Chanel number no. one. Um, my. Um, horizontal single flap bag she is vintage and she is so beautiful guys again this is my very first Chanel bag so again let us take a look at her beauty so the material is um, patent leather so she is a little bit different because the um, this one the it comes horizontal flaps over here not the vertical ones then what I love about this bag because again like what I keep on mentioning I'm such a huge fan of um, vintage Chanel because of the 24k hardware so as you are going to see it is very shiny also with the leather straps over here and what I what I super love about this bag yes she is a if I'm not mistaken a series 3 that was manufactured around 94 to 96 she doesn't look so old she doesn't look um, so vintage I feel she you know I feel actually she is very timeless. You could um, sit her together with the more um, contemporary bags of Chanel right now and she would still stand out in my opinion guys. So as you are going to see, um, this is the side. This is the back. So the, with the back part, there is the Mona Lisa pocket. So I haven't used this um, pocket over here. Then if we are going to open, so the, it, she is, you know, 100% leather. So the lining, if I'm not mistaken, is also lambskin. And here is the back. And what I also love about her, she is made in France. Oh my God. Every time, guys, I'm looking at her, I am constantly wowed. And like what I mentioned with my previous vlog, I feel like I'm so crazy and madly in love with this bag. Because every day, um, because the material of this one is patent in... You know, with my uh, watching of vlogs here, they're saying that the patent leather, it's a little bit tricky to maintain. That is why on a daily basis, as much as possible, I would be checking um, Chanel number one over here. Just checking, you know, how the material is doing, how the 
ang patent leathers doing because of course this is my very first Chanel I would want to keep her on my collection as long as you know I'm alive um, I would never ever 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 let go of this um, Chanel even though for example in the future I may have a chance to purchase a brand new Chanel or you know a double flat bag definitely I would still keep this one because she is the OG and you know with the bags that I have here on my side um, they may be a little bit jealous but definitely guys this is the bag that I super super love on my collection Yay! So, what do you think of Chanel number one? There! So, guys, what do you think of our very first edition of my luxury bag collection? Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. So, I've lost count of how many bags that I have. Honestly, guys, this is the very first time that I'm seeing them together. Um, they look really delicious in my opinion. And um, I think I have 19 or 20 bags currently on my collection. But I'm still trimming down, to be honest. Um, I'm still trimming down in my collection. I want it to be a little, you know, well more curated than this one. I may be letting a couple of bags soon, so please stay tuned for maybe I would be doing another vlog sale. Because to be honest right now, guys, I am on a Chanel binge. As of the moment, most of the videos that I watch are all Chanel's. The styling that I am so crazy right now is Chanel. Um, uh, what I am predicting for 2022, what I will be purchasing are would be Chanel bags. So I'm not sure how many, but at least I would like to purchase in my birthday coming in July would be one Chanel bag. And I'm praying it would be a dream bag of mine. So hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. All right. So before we end our episode today, um, let's do comment of the day. I would like to say thank you to Nikki B Vlogs. Nikki, again, many, many thank yous for leaving this wonderful comment. I super appreciate this one. Happy New Year. I will see you on our next episode. Again, guys, before we end our episode for today, I'm inviting you to please join our growing family. There's a cute little icon here. So you can easily subscribe and I would be more than happy to again welcome you to our growing and loving family. Please smash that notification bell and I would highly appreciate it if you could like this video. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. A million thank yous guys for staying with me until the very end of this a little bit lengthy video. Again, I'm super excited to be doing this one. I hope to see you on our next episode. Again, Happy New Year. I will see you on our next episode.